Okay, guys, uh, we are now on example number three. Okay, you can see this is uh, a beam. Let me say this one is A and this one is what? B. So, this is the beam and uh, the beam is having a what variable distributed load VDL and a what a point load. The first thing you do is you convert this to a what a point load. So how do we convert? I've explained this in my previous video that is under introduction to what B. So you can watch that so that you will have further understanding on this. The first thing is where can we have our angle 90? You can see we can have it at this point. You get that? So now let's convert this to a point load. How do we convert to a point load? You know this one is form of a triangle. So area of a triangle is what half base times what height, which is half times what is the base? The length that it covers is what three meter. So three times. Please don't forget this one is per meter. This one is meter. So three times height. The height is what six. So six, which is equals to two year one, two year three. Three times three times one is what nine kilo newton. So we've converted to a point load now, which is what nine kilo newton. But now after we've converted, the reason why I always stress this angle ninety half is the length. It will not hurt at half. It will, you know this is not a uniform distributed load. Adding this uniform, it will hurt at. And the center of the what of the beam of this length, but now this is a the uh, the uh, very distributed loop which we add at uh, L over T of the what of the length that it covers. Do you understand? So now, but now this it will, uh, this angle 90 will let you know that it's going to hurt at L over T away from this what angle 90 degree. Do you get that? So now, it is going to hurt. The length that is going to hurt is what L over T. <coughs> and the head here, it means the length that it covers. And what is the length it covers? That is T. So it's going to be T over T, which is what? One meter. It means it covers one meter away from what? And 90 degree. So now, let's draw the free body diagram. Okay? So now, don't forget that this is a pin support and this one is a roller support. And your pin support will always have what two reactions, which is what horizontal and what vertical. But your roller uh, support will always have what vertical reaction. I've explained all this. Okay. So now, let's assume this is our B, and uh, this is reaction at A. Vertical reaction at A, and this one is our horizontal reaction at A, and this is our B. We only have a vertical reaction at what point B, and this is our L here, yeah? which is 4 kilo Newton. You get that, okay? Now, don't forget that from this point, and we are having something like this also. <coughs> So we are also having something like this here, okay? And uh, from here to here is one meter. This one is three meter. This one is also one meter. This one is one meter. This one, let's say the beam stop here. So it's also one meter. So now, when we convert this to a point load, we have what nine kilo newton, which is adding at what one meter away from what angle 90 you know this is the length of the uh, you, uh the length that the uh variable distributor load is covering so now and when we convert we have nine kilo newton to point load so now it's going to hurt at one meter away from this angle 90 so it's going to be somewhere here do you understand so it's going to be nine kilo newton and from here to here is going to be what one meter that it covers so now from this point to this point that is going to be what two because three minus one is what two so from here to here is nothing but what two let me do it well so one meter so this will be what two 
meter. I hope you understand this. Okay, so now the next thing that we need to do now. The next thing that we need to do, three things. You uh, <coughs> take the sum of upward force equals to what downward force, uh, or you can take the sum of vertical force and the sum of horizontal force equals to zero and the uh, summation of your moment. That is everything that, that you need to do. So now let's start with sum of what? Sum of vertical, uh, sum of horizontal force. This is how we represent sum of horizontal force. What are the horizontal forces we have here, which is HA only? So we say sum of horizontal force equals to zero. It means HA is equals to what? Zero. We do not have any horizontal force. Okay? So now the next thing is sum of what? Sum of vertical force, which is zero vertical forces. And don't forget, when we say sum of vertical force, you have to choose a coordinate. Maybe you say let your upward force be positive because vertical force that we have here is this and this, this and this. We have upward and what? Downward. You can either say your upward should be what? Positive. Or your downward should be what? Positive. Anyhow you want it. And also the same thing as this. You can say this one should be what? Positive. Or like this should be what? Positive. Anyhow. Okay. So now, this are uh, coordinates. So we mean uh, our upward force should be what? Positive. So we are having ROA and ROB is going to be ROA plus ROB and the other one will be what? Negative because of this coordinate here. We say let upward force and will be what? Positive. So this one will be what? Minus 9 minus 4 equals to what? 0. So now it means ROA plus ROB will be equals to this plus, uh, minus 9 minus 4 is what? Minus 13. And when it cross here, it's going to be what? 13. And 0 plus 13 is what? 13 equation 1. So now the next thing is to take our what? Moment. Let's take our moment. You can take clockwise moment or anticlockwise moment. So let's take, when we say clockwise, you know your, your clock is moving clockwise. Here. You understand? So let me say, <coughs> let's take our moment. We can take our moment at this point or at this point. Do you understand? But I love taking my moment at this point. So moment, this is it. Is this clockwise moment or anticlockwise? You can see it's moving <coughs> like this. That is what? Clockwise moment. Do you understand? Clockwise moment. It's moving uh, like the end of the clock. So now, so when we say clockwise moment, about A. Now, let's have a clockwise which should be what? Positive. So sum of moment should be equal to what? Zero. You get that? So now this is our point A. And how many forces are we having? We are having one, two, and what? Three. And we say clockwise moment should be what? Positive. So let me explain this because many students don't have problem with this. Now, look at this. This force is a downward force. It's coming like this. Right? You can see it's coming like this. Like this. And if you look at this, this one is coming like this. It's going like this. That is anti-clockwise. It's moving. It will move like this. Why this one will move clockwise, this one will also move clockwise. So anytime you take your uh, clockwise moment to be positive, it means all your downward forces, all your downward forces will move what? clockwise. Why your uh, upward force will move anti-clockwise. Do you get that? Very simple. Okay. So now when we say clockwise moment should be positive, now I'll put my hand here. It means I'll consider this upward force first. And this upward force is nothing but what? 9 kN. Abi? So now, and what is the distance from here to here? The dis don't forget that from here to here is what? 1 meter. From here to here is what? 2 meter. So from, from here to here now will be what? 2 plus 1, which is what? 3. Don't forget, moment is what? Force times perpendicular force. So which is going to be what? 9 times what? The total distance. 9 times, 9 times 3. Plus, let's consider this one because it is also clockwise, it's downward force. So now, 4 times what? 4 times the total distance from here to here is what? 1 plus 1, 2 plus 3 is 5 plus 1 is what? 6. So 
You're going to do what? 4 times 6. You get that. Now, but for this one, it's going to what? Anticlockwise. It's going to be what? Negative. So, minus ROB times what? Times what? This is ROB. What is the distance it covers? 1 plus 3 plus 1, which is what? 4. Sorry, 5. 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 1 is 5. Equals to what? 0. I hope you get this. So now, 9 times 3 is nothing but what? 27. And uh, 4 times uh, uh, 6 is nothing but what? 24 minus what? 5 ROB equals to what? 0. So when this comes this part, it means that uh, 5 ROB will be equals to 27 plus 24, which is what? 51. And uh, ROB is equals to 51 over 5. And if you divide 51 by 5, I don't have my calculator, I have solved it here. I think it's 10.2, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, 10.2. So ROB is 10.2. But don't forget, the unit is nothing but what? Kilo Newton. You get that. So we've got in our ROB. So now let's get our ROA. If you go back to your equation 1, this is our equation 1. So which is ROA plus ROB. Which is equal to what? Which is equal to is equal to 13. 13. So ROA is equal to 13 minus ROB. And ROA is nothing but 13 minus ROB is what? 10.2. 10.2. So you press your calculator, 13 minus 10.2 is nothing but 2.8 kilo. Thank you. Here hence the uh, solution.